Honorable mention in my list of beginner tips is mostly for illustrators and graphic designers. Also, it's only available in Photoshop CS5. It didn't make the main list mainly due to these two limitations. In this video, I'd like to introduce you to the HUD Color Picker. The HUD Color Picker has proven to be such a popular feature that people have actually made plugins for previous versions of Adobe Creative Suite that will allow you to use the HUD Color Picker even if you don't have CS5. Unfortunately, it doesn't go too far back, only a couple of the more recent Creative Suite versions of Photoshop, but it still opens up the option to some of us who don't yet have Creative Suite 5. There are many different options if you're working within a painting to change the color of the brush that you're using. The one that I find I use most often is I'll hold down Alt. This is what we call a modifier key, and these are keys that if you're working with a certain tool and you hold them down, they modify the result that you're getting. So this modifier will just bring up the color picker, and anywhere in here I can just go through and pick one of these colors, and now suddenly my brush is working with that. So I hold Alt again, click the background color, and then I can just paint all this out. What if we wanted to use, say, a green? You notice there's no green in here. Uh, we have a few options. The first thing we could do is come over here to our active color panel and drop down here, select green. We've got a little color picker that pops up. Hit OK. And now we've got green. Second option, of course, is to go to the color panel itself and switch over to green or click the swatches. And if there's a green in here, use that. I actually use a color palette directly in the painting that I'm working on at the time. So I could just go to that palette and pick a green and start painting with green. However, there is now another option. And that option is the HUD color picker. We access this with the brush tool. If we're on the Mac, control, command, option, and hold down your mouse button. Now you see this color picker comes up right in our image. So I can move around here, pick this green if I want, and presto, oops, and presto, I have green. There is subtle nuance to this. Control, command, option, with the mouse button. For instance, let's say I don't want a green, let's say now I want to switch to yellow. Well, I could just drag right out and pick yellow or go anywhere around here around the color wheel and then come back in. But let's say I was really happy with this particular tone of blue, but I just wanted the red version of it. Now I'm going to hold down spacebar and that will lock the inner wheel here on the color picker square. I can come out here to the color picker wheel, let go of the spacebar, and now I've got red and it's the same tone as the blue that I was previously using. Again, if I want to go back in, hold down spacebar and just move back in. And now I can move this around again. If you are on the outer wheel and you're coming back in and you don't mind moving this around, you don't have to hold down spacebar as well. Uh, just know that anywhere you're going to move this, it's going to come right in wherever your mouse initially touches this inner square. So there it is. That's the HUD color picker. Please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe below. And if you have any questions, send them to requestatmahalo.com. Thanks for watching.